Yo, welcome back to another episode of Colloquial Short Stories, where I take a short story in basic English and turn it into colloquial English. Let's get started. Uh, what was that restaurant that had that delicious fried rice? Uh, I know what it is, but I don't remember the name. It's okay, you'll think of it later. Yo, what was the name of that spot that had that bomb ass fried rice? It's on the tip of my tongue, but I'm drawing a blank right now. Ah, no worries, it'll come back to you. Okay, so, first line. What was that spot that we went to? Spot is a super, super native way to talk about any location. I mean, any location. A spot could be a place like a restaurant, a spot could be a place in your living room, it could be a spot on the counter, a spot could even be right here on my shirt. Super useful, I probably use it every single day. Okay, next section. That had that bomb ass fried rice. So, the word bomb is slang for awesome. Awesome. And you usually use it when you're talking about food. So for instance, eating peanut butter with bananas is mm. the bomb. Or, this is some bomb fried rice. Okay, ass. Ass. Remember this word. It is probably one of the most dynamic words in the entire English language. Wait, what? In the entire English language. I will probably, actually definitely make a video on it in the future. An entire video just on this word and how to use it. So, look out for that later. But for now, just remember, in this context, it just means very. So for instance, you can use it like this. Oh, yo, my friend told me this funny ass joke. You wanna hear it? Did you see that? that crazy ass guy almost hit me with his car. This is some bomb ass fried rice. Okay, the next line. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue means I know what it is. It's right there. I can just picture it, but I, I just can't remember it. That's what that means. Uh, usually you say this if you can't remember the name of a place or you can't remember somebody's name or a specific word you want to use. So if somebody asks you, Oh yeah, what was the name of that bubble tea shop that had the brown sugar and you know what I'm saying? And then you would respond with, Oh, ah, uh, ah, it's on the tip of my tongue. Ah, uh, I'm not sure. Something like that. And then the follow-up phrase, I'm drawing a blank right now. I'm drawing a blank means I just can't think of it. I don't know. So the reason why it's called drawing a blank, I know it may sound weird at first, but in this case, to draw means to pull, like you're trying to pull something out of your brain, but then blank, nothing. Oftentimes they all be used together. Like in this instance, ah, it's on the tip of my tongue, but drawing a blank right now. Oh, yo. What was the name of that girl that wanted your number that you met at the bar yesterday? Remember her? Oh yeah! What was her name again? Ah, I'm drawing a blank right now. Oh my god. Um, do you remember who came to the party with us yesterday? I, I totally forgot. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm drawing a blank. Ah, no worries. It'll come back to you. No worries. Okay, so no worries just means it's okay. Relax, don't stress out. For example, uh, hey, oh, ah, sorry, dude, I forgot to bring your jacket. I was going to bring it with me. Ah, it's cool, no worries. We'll just get it next time. Yo, Nick, what's going on? Hey, I got your text, but I forgot to watch that new video you made on like restaurant phrases, colloquial English restaurant phrases or something, but uh, I'll watch it later. Ah, no worries, it's okay. You can just watch it later. Wasn't that important or anything, I... So, it'll come back to you. This is a great phrase you can tell to somebody who just forgot what they were going to say and it helps them make them feel better. So if somebody forgets somebody's name, you can say, it's okay, it'll come back to you. Or, if it's yourself, you can say, um, I can't remember what it is, I'm drawing a blank right now. 
It's fine, it'll come back to me. All right, cool, you just learned everything. Let's see the stories one more time. Ah, oh, yo, what was the name of that spot that had that bomb ass fried rice? It's on the tip of my tongue, but I'm drawing a blank right now. Ah, no worries, it'll come back to you. All right, so here's a quick quiz on some of the fun new terms that we learned today. If you're having trouble remembering what they mean, you can go back and re-watch parts of the video to help you remember and then come back to the quiz. And as always, if you really want to remember what these words mean, I would suggest trying making some sentences on your own and also listen to other native speakers and listen to when they use them and how they use them and when they use them. Trust me, if you do all these things, it will make it a lot easier to remember. If you just watch the video alone, you might even forget what all this stuff means by tomorrow, and then all my efforts will be wasted. We don't want that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. Godspeed, Captain. <laughs>